my name is Jordan and this is the first in a series of tutorials I'm going to do about digital photography and showing you how to use your camera to get the most out of your digital photographs. Because my knowledge of cameras came from watching videos like this on the internet, on YouTube and sites, sites such as this. And um, I picked up a camera one day and I just started, I went out and started taking pictures. And I got all 100% of my knowledge from videos just like this. So how can you get the most out of your digital photographs? If you're tired of the grain in the photographs or the glare in the photographs or blur in the photographs and you just want to take better, higher quality pictures with just the camera you have, all you need is a, a good enough camera to take a good enough picture, a good enough light because photography is all about the light. There's three main components of photography. There's aperture, there's shutter speed, and the ISO. These three components control the exposure of your photographs. Okay, exposure is very important for getting the look you want. So what is exposure? Well, exposure is how much light is let through the lens. This is a lens. The amount of light that comes into the lens is your exposure. Let's talk about the shutter first. If I take this off, you can see that the shutter is this mirror. This mirror inside here is a shutter. When you click the shutter button to take the picture, the mirror flips up, opening the exposure, starting the exposure. The amount of time your mirror stays up is your shutter speed. Okay? Your mirror goes up, and your mirror closes. When your mirror closes, end of the exposure. Easy enough? What is aperture? Let's talk about aperture. Aperture controls your depth of field. Okay. Your aperture is how wide the lens is. This is a 4 to 5.6 aperture lens. The regular kit lens. That means the widest this opens is f4. Okay? The higher the number goes in the aperture, that's a wasp. Whoa, there's a wasp. <laughs> I almost got attacked by a wasp. The higher the number goes in the aperture, the smaller the aperture gets. So if you have, say, like an f2.8, f1.4, it gets wide. You go down to f11, okay, or if you go up to f11, it gets smaller. You go up to f18, it gets even smaller. You go up to f22, and it gets even smaller. Now, the smaller the aperture, the more you're going to have in focus in the picture. Okay, so, so far we've learned about shutter speed, we've learned about aperture, and now it's time to learn about ISO. ISO basically bumps up your exposure a notch. The lowest this camera will go, this is the Sony Alpha 500 camera, the lowest it will go is 200 ISO. You have some cameras that will go 100 ISO. ISO in the digital camera is digital enhancement. You got to keep that in mind because when you're doing the shutter speed, that's not digitally enhancing your photograph. That's enhancing your photograph with the actual light that's ambient around your subject. And the same thing with the aperture. When you open it, that's not digitally enhancing it anyway. ISO digitally enhances it, which means that if you have it on a high ISO, okay you have a bigger chance for grain in your pictures okay and I don't like grain in my pictures I don't know about you some people like it some people make it black and white and call it art that's not what I do and I don't like grain in my pictures okay so I like to keep my camera at the lowest ISO possible all the time and whenever I'm photographing anything okay so basically that's your ISO so that's basically Shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Okay? In future tutorials, we'll get a little bit deeper into how to use these digital photography. That's a beautiful thing. I love being a digital photographer. I just came up with this one day, a digital photography, all of a sudden.